Hey guys, this is Derek with LJ, LJ of course. Um, one of the things I'm going to be touching on is water. water. And I'm sure you've probably seen this before at one point, but um, we're going to go over different ways of collecting water and how to find water. Um, one of the things is finding sources of water where it can be rain which it's not doing right now or you um, be drinking from it but also um, dirty yeah this is yeah this is a stream. stream and of course you know there's ponds rivers basically anything that's flowing or you know on the ground it's considered groundwater but um some of the better sources that you can actually get would be flowing water like this i mean i wouldn't really drink from that or over here this is a little bit cleaner yes yeah, the running water usually does tend to be cleaner than stagnant water meaning water that's standing still where flowing water is usually filtered a little bit better definitely don't want to drink any of that water because who knows what's in it um probably mud disgusting water that's probably and actually let me get something really quick and one of the other things you want to do is make sure you have a container to actually put the water in which is what i'm going to be grabbing um actually you know what let me go grab that really quick i'll be right back okay so i am back and lj has 18. that which is good for collecting water yes. i will actually trade off he will actually take the camera while i take the canteen and show you guys how to collect the water One of the benefits of having this. Perfect. That's that's how I did it. And so, as you can see, I do have water. I wouldn't really want to drink it right away. Because I'll, I'll wa I'll rather filter it, filter the mud out. Well, it's not really muddy. It's just the fact that it, one, it's cold, and two, yes, filtering it out will get the bigger stuff like the sediment, yeah. the dirt, you know, yeah. stuff like that. And, you know, whatever else is in there as far as bigger particles. But what you want to do is actually you want to boil it so that way it'll actually cut off anything that's in the water that could make you sick. Yes. Um, this water could be dirty. Yeah, not could just make you dirty sick. in the sense of mud and dirt and, you know, whatever. This could make you sick. But it could also be contaminated with germs and, you know, small stuff that you can't see. Um, other than that... That's how you collect the water. One good thing to have is a canteen. Or a... Or at least a water bottle or a jug or something that will actually hold water. Or like a water bottle, like a plastic, yeah. pl hard plastic one, something yep. like that. But uh, other than that, you know, there's your second on water, how to collect it. Um, at some point, we'll get to... Showing you guys how to filter and boil. So until then, keep click like, subscribe, and I'll you get stay posted.